You know, David, postmasters, judges, guests, I'm encouraging you guys to plant your seeds now. Me living my dreams, trust me, it's not easy. Remember, mom and dad, 1975, Vietnamese refugees from a war that changed history to come here to the United States to fulfill their dreams for their children, their next generation, their community. I grew up rough. When my seed was planted in a neighborhood where I was the only Asian, remember? Nothing but minorities, surrounded by violence, negativity. Anything you can imagine that can suppress an individual to go for their dreams, I experienced. That was back in 1980s. Now we're in 2016. When I found my passion in health and fitness, as I planted my seed, Remember, when you plant a seed, you got nourished, right? You got water every day. Hopefully the sun will come down and shine. Hoping that it will grow with spurt tomorrow. We want our dreams and passion to grow tomorrow. But it took more than that. I was in a corporate company for about eight years, thank God, because how can this individual who had a violent history, didn't graduate college, got held back your senior year for selling drugs to make some money because you had this million dollar dream. All against me. You're Asian, you're short, you look like Bruce Lee, you can't fight like Bruce Lee. <laughs> yeah, I experienced all that. Planting seeds, nourishing, growing. So when I resigned for the corporate industry, I saw what God did in my life. I planted seeds in the corporate company. I started as the entry level manager. Wow, how did I get that job? By the grace of God. Kind of throwing your record. Is anybody going to hire me? Fortunately, a company did. And I grew. I painted seeds in their company. I put every effort I could. I grew myself as a leader, a communicator, and someone passionate about the brand I was representing. But if you ever can vision a flower, that can't grow past beyond a glass ceiling, it hit me. My dad passed away, unfortunately, from stage four liver cancer. He was a drinker and a smoker. He planted the seeds of what I did not want to be. Through health and fitness, I found my passion and created the philosophy of temple construction. Let's build a temple for your spirit. I took the leap of faith. 2011, I want to pursue my dreams in health and fitness in TV and film. How are you going to do that? You have no money. You have no support. You want to go to Hollywood? You're all the way here in Houston. And you're short. How are you going to be a superstar? And it seeds. 2000, of my first year as an entrepreneur. Got the opportunity to get on the Vietnamese network for our very first home fitness community show. That's an honor. That woke me up. That's a C right there that I just planted. You know what? I took that action and I took the negativity and flipped the script. So whenever you go for a dream, be careful because those doors are going to come. Someone's going to try to pick your seed out of the ground. Someone's going to try to get that water out of the way. Someone's going to cover up the sun that you need to grow. Now during the process, two, three years go forward, I get represented by a management company out of LA. Thank God. Wow, this is really going somewhere. Second year, I'm like, I'm ready to be a superstar. I nourish, I grow, I focus on personal growth, I focus on personal development, I focus on how I can become better. I focus on this is what my commitment is. I'm going for the dream, I'm never going to stop. Now, during the process, is it easy? Not easy. But is it worth it? Oh, yes, it's worth it. Because who you become out of it? What plant seeds inside of you come out externally? And that's the true passion, the true success you get for going for your dreams. Anybody know uh, Sylvester Stallone? Yes, Rocky? Hey, yo, Adrian! <laughs> Check out his story. 
Back in the 70s, he had a dream. He wrote a script about Rocky. He had nothing, no money. His girlfriend left him. You want to be a movie star? You can't even afford to pay my rent? You can't afford to give me a diamond rent and you want to come out and do this? He had to sell his dog to pursue his dream. And now look at him today. Everybody heard Bruce Lee, right? Mm -hmm. You're Asian. You're never going to get a leading role. How are you going to become a superstar in the United States? Anybody heard the dream where you want to pursue, but you have all this negativity against you, and you want to pursue it? Five years later, I've been pursuing this dream for five years. Here's an analogy about the Chinese bamboo tree. Once you plant it, it goes deep into the ground. You have to nourish it. You have to water it. You have to focus on it. You got to get somewhere. You got to do it every single day. And on that fifth year, that bamboo tree starts to come up. Now, in that fifth year, it grows 90 feet. In six weeks, it grows 90 feet. Now, the question is, did it grow in six years, five years, or six weeks? We all know the answer. So if I plant these seeds of inspiration, motivation in your heart, I inspire you to plant your seeds now. It may take one year, two, three years, four years, five years, but when it gets out of that ground, that 90 feet of bamboo tree gets up in the sky, and you fulfill your dreams, it will be worth it. Plant your seeds.